Let's turn to Kristen Welker, moderator of Meet the Press. Kristen, I mean, Trump was not in the room. He was spoken about. But, I mean, it's do or die time for these candidates. They're either going to lay a glove on him or they're not. So did they? They didn't, Savannah. In fact, Chris Christie was yet again the only candidate who decided to take direct aim at former President Donald Trump. The other candidates time and time again had the chance to and declined to directly go after him. You saw a great example there in Garrett's piece where Ron DeSantis was asked if he's fit to serve for office. He kind of danced around that question, didn't directly engage. Instead, what we saw was a real pile on on Nikki Haley. But again, that allows the front runner, the person who's nearly 30 points ahead in Iowa, to go unscathed. And without seeing these candidates collectively and directly go after former President Trump, it's hard to see that anything changes. And taking a step back, Savannah, again, this is the fourth debate that Trump has decided not to attend. It hasn't hurt him. If anything, it's only emboldened him. I mean, if you add up those candidates that were on the stage, I didn't put them all. It still doesn't add up to Trump's lead in some of these polls. So, you know, all of them will tell you, well, just get me in a two person race and, and then that's when I'm going to have my moment. What are the chances of that? What did we see in terms of the DeSantis, Haley, Christie, Ramaswamy dynamic? Well, what we saw was this all-out attempt to take on Nikki Haley, who has been surging in the polls, particularly when it comes to Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley. The two of them are kind of vying for second place. But is this anything more than a fight for second place? That remains to be seen. She clearly came prepared for these attacks. You heard her say there that she likes all of the attention, fellas. But look, she did have some moments that may have had an impact, including when they accused her of accepting these big dollar donors. She tried to dismiss that. But could that have an impact with some of the Republican base? We did talk to some of her supporters after the fact. They said they felt like this was not her best debate. Savannah. Uh, Kristen, thank you. And we'll be talking about that and more Sunday morning mm -hmm. on Meet the Press. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.